Hey y'all, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 14 Hasuli Group A, the other side of the bracket. We're going to see White versus Dulife. Whoever wins this goes on to face. Why am I blanking all of a sudden? I just casted that game! It just goes on to face Juicy in the winner's bracket. Nooks will be in the loser's bracket. White in the upper right-hand corner as the White Protoss. I always love the consistency from White that he sticks with the white color for Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Dulife starting as the green Terran, and I really love this fetch. Dulife as well always seems to have the fetching colors with his ar armada, armada, his armies. I call this Terran green for some reason. Marine green, that's what I should call it. Anyway, Dulife. Had some trouble in the round of 16 last season. Ran into Keen, who went pretty deep, and also Masuchi, who ended up going to the finals. White went pretty far, made it to the semifinals before getting uh, falling, but had a really good showing. Is looking to improve on last season, and is just showing himself to be a formidable Protoss opponent. In particular, if you guys you didn't see the. Matches between him and was it Gosifer? Trying to remember who he ended up playing. They're really entertaining matches, in my opinion. That entire bracket last season. Anyway, do life. We've seen struggle here and there in the early game. It looks like he's going to go ahead and plop a barracks. Hugging the space. This is on Eclipse, I should mention. I've been casting Fighting Spirit so often, I forget that I need to mention what map it is because the maps are shifting. The map pool this season is pretty interesting, in my opinion. We got Butter in here, we got Metaverse. Looks like the assimilator plopping down before, very quick assimilator before even second pylon. So potentially white wants to get a quick dragoon or some form of tech out a little bit earlier. Refinery plopping down in the meantime for do life, sending out that initial SCV scout, wanting to make sure that doesn't get boxed out. We are seeing a an immediate tech to cybernetic score. What a lot of Protoss players have been doing is, is there's a lot of flexibility in the build order if you delay Dragoon range these days. You can go ahead and get an early Robo. You can do an early Settle of Doom. There's just a lot of options that open up. Allows some flexibility in the build order. It looks like we're going ahead and seeing initial Probe Scout moving out. The SCV going along the southern border, interestingly enough. Maybe to check for proxies on this map. Go ahead and get rid of this. Unfortunately, it's just a Supply Depot along that southern edge. I don't know why I felt like showing you guys that. Just did. Probe Scout Looks like it's going to be able to sneak in. It's going to see that initial factory going down, but also going to see that single SCV on gas, which is an indicator that this is going to be more of an economic opener. First Dragoon being produced. Do Life wandering in. Sees no cybernetic score spinning. That is the one de deficit with Protoss. If you skip the early cybernetic score, is, is you end up with fewer options to fool your opponent. Looks like range now starting. Because with the range spinning, it could have been like plus one weapons. Could have been something else along those lines. Third pylon being blocked, dr dropped to the corner, and I think this is White wanting to play games with Dulife and try to uh, mess with this SCV scout a little bit. Because once you see the three pylons in base, you know that there's no proxy tech. But right now, Dulife only sees the two pylons with... Oops, that's not the vision I wanted to kill there. He only sees the two. He doesn't have eyes on the third. And because basically White placed this pylon to the upper left-hand corner and kind of a... I don't know what to call that. Chintzy move? This SCV is now wondering, like, okay, is there a proxy someplace? Something along those lines. So the SCV exit, exiting the base, also going to get denied information. But it always, you know, just kind of creates that little bit of ambiguity. However, seeing that cybernetics core spinning definitely has to give Do Life, uh, has to make him feel a little bit more comfortable. But a bunker being dropped regardless. Three Marines going to go ahead and cycle into it. That's going to slow the command center down a bit. Mines researching a vulture being produced right off the bat rather than a siege tank to start looks like white is setting up to go ahead and grab that nexus at the natural expansion the dragoon going ahead and sneaking out trying to find if there was an additional scv scout out in the base or just making sure there wasn't anything sneaky opposite side and a robotic facility to follow so initial vulture is going to wander out there are two dragoons to go ahead and engage it on the front but what this does do is this gives do life a little bit of map control right off the bat and you can see these vultures because of that i think because of that third pylon action Still sneaking around, trying to find what's going on. And so just that little little thing that White did, really putting Do Life, putting him on edge. You can see he's just, is, is something coming? Is something not coming? S Siege tank being built. Mines have now finished. Engineering Bay plopping down. But in the meantime, three Dragoons have sat on the front, and White has gone ahead and snuck up 
to Nexus has the observatory and playing a very, very safe uh, gate robotics facility Nexus, uh, kind of a straight up economic opener and is going to get an economic lead over Do Life as a result of all this. Handful of mines being planted to provide some map control. This is also potentially delay the third slightly. But at least an observer is going to need to be alongside. Second factory now coming online. But if you look at the front, the command center is not finished. And there's only a single siege tank down. And the supply lead is in White's favor. And he's already got that natural expansion up. And probes transferring to go ahead and saturate that now. So good play. The vultures still hanging out in that bottom right corner. They're still kind of hanging out along the periphery. I think they know they're going to run into that Dragoon Wall should they move forward. The Observer going to walk, sees that initial mine, so knows that there's vultures out there, at the very least. The Engineering Bay floating out to provide additional scouting information as well. Love it when players do that. Plus one weapons on the way for Do Life, and I think Do Life is going to go ahead and settle back. It's possible that he's going to, it looks like he's already plopped some turrets along the perimeter. Was expecting more of an aggressive play. Robotics facility is now coming online. We do have a shuttle alongside, but I think this is more for defensive purposes for White rather than aggressive purposes. I would not be shocked to see White just walk out, go ahead, and try to grab that third, especially seeing this front door and this observer critically able to scoot in underneath all of these turrets, get a look at the factory count, sees the armory whirling, and just has a ton of information to work with. Sees that Do Life is playing a little bit lighter on the defensive front knows that there's potentially some vultures out in the field. So I feel like the scouting information, the build order advantage, everything kind of going in White's favor thus far. It looks like he's producing that initial reaver. Some Dragoons walking out. They do not... They need to be careful of this mine along that corner edge. And uh, also the misfire up that range could have been problematic. This being cleared out might give an indicator to do life that there is... Ooh, is this going to... Okay, it looks like it is going to get taken out. It does give an indicator that this is potentially going to be more of an economic build from white and kind of settling in from there and i think both players yeah kind of just gonna relax and move to the mid game we do have vulture speed being upgraded a starport being dropped potentially so this feels a little bit early for uh i guess we'll check the timing of it maybe to just go ahead and continue that upgrade path three tanks on the natural expansion two vultures there as well i don't think do life is going to go for push even if he does go for a push I think there is going to be sufficient. Looks like we do have that reaver. We have the shuttle, a couple zealots. I think this is going to be a sufficient defense for White to go ahead and manage this. Looks like he's walking up to go ahead and grab that third base. So I think Do Life wants to go ahead and rely on Vulture Speed to go ahead and potentially run out and harass things. Unfortunately, on Eclipse, with the Dragoons kind of piled up here and able to hold up on the high ground, I don't know that Vultures can get a lot accomplished against that three base structure. In the meantime, we do have. The Observer moving forward, especially because it was able to walk in so easily, thinking maybe I can go ahead and get a drop with this Reaver and get some bonus damage done. If this shuttle gets wiped out, there are two turrets right along the way, and so they might face plant right into these turrets and get wiped out. Kind of walking back a little bit, it looks like. So, yeah, opting not to press it at this stage. Nice vision for White as well. You can see he's got kind of a, a good look at the map as a whole. Science facility dropping, a third factory being plopped down, initial commsats being dropped from Dulife. He's checking to see whether that third base is coming online or not. I think as a... Looks like he's grouping up to potentially go for a push here with the plus one weapons. Nexus is now online. So Dulife a little bit early on that. And this... You got three factories. Siege tech is... This is crazy that siege tech is finishing now. I'm not... I think that must have been a mistake in the build order, to be honest. But right now... White, with a slight supply lead, has a decent economic lead, but Do Life does have an army that could be scary on the front. Has that plus one weapons. I think Do Life still has the tools to go ahead and fight it back. But right now, yeah, White wanting to just go ahead, or sorry, White has the tools to go ahead and fight it back, but White just playing defensively right now. And I think this is going to be more, so we got the second armory down. I think this is going to be more the plus two weapons, plus one armor attack. That's waiting. Second machine shop dropping down. And a fourth factory coming online. White sees everything, though. So it's going to be up to him to know to adjust. It looks like a turret is going to be plopped underneath. Do Life dropping another scan. Checking the main, wanting to see the gateway count. There is, in fact, six gateways behind this. Sees the robotics facility and potentially Citadel of Adun as well. Stargate, Templar Archives, which suggests we're going to move up to High Templar Tech. That Observer getting picked off in the main, which is putting White in the dark. Feels funny to say, like, White in the dark. But 
regardless, yeah, lack of information now. And we do see that fifth factory being plopped on. Probes being transferred to that 12 o'clock base. This is well protected. Do have a single forge working on the upgrades now. And now it's kind of a that race, Arbiter Tribunal, coming online. Oops, looks like there was a pause. Vultures are starting to cycle out. Again, I don't know that they're... Well, maybe at the natural expansion, they'll be able to push out and get something accomplished. But this is where it, Do Life is just doing his thing. He's going to go ahead and go for a five factory, plus two weapons, plus one weapon push, which has been very, very popular for Terran. And it's going to be up to White to go ahead and gauge that heads up or have Arbiters in position with enough energy to drop stasis, something along those lines, or maybe having uh, additional shuttles, zealot bombs. This is... Feels like this is such a strong build at this level. Protoss just have time and time again trouble dealing with it. Vulture is wandering out, looking for something to go ahead and gauge. White checking out exterior expansions, just making sure that a third hasn't been grabbed. So you got that observer here. Single Vulture that's been there the entire match. Single Vulture also wandering up to see whether the path is clear to go ahead and make something happen. Having a little bit of trouble going up to the 12 o'clock. Maybe because it was it knows that there's a blockade there, angling in. Or maybe that's intentionally on patrol. I don't think so, though. Brood War and its unit uh, movement, I tell you. Uh, the Vulture's moving back to the 11 o'clock position. Going to go ahead and mine that up. The Observer's going to go ahead and see it. Do Life continually dropping scans here and there just to keep eyes, but... Level 2 weapons is just a few moments from finishing, so we're going to probably see Do Life start gathering up with these vultures and these siege tanks and start making a move. And White right now, he has a control group of dragoons that <laughs> eating a mine in the face, a control group of zealots. So more production behind this, but the first Arbiter is a uh, ways away. It's not going to have energy for stasis. And these are, well, see if the siege tank count. Yeah, the siege tank count is going to fill in. This is going to be challenging to stop for White. I think he wants to be in a forward position to go ahead and defend this, or at least be in a position to go for some form of pincer attack. Do life with these vultures out here, having been a threat, trying to keep the dragoons honest, potentially. A reaver dropping mid-map, eating a lot of damage, and that reaver needed to be at higher health for the engagement coming. Still eating a lot of damage here and there. A couple mines, so a little bit of a initial engagement. White is up 20 supply. But... The army needs to be cohesive and together to go ahead and engage Do Life. So let's see if he can go. One, one thing I've seen Protoss do is run forward and engage at the natural expansion, basically in the gap as that timing's hitting, and go from there. It looks like level two weapons is finished. Do Life still holding short. 20 supply down. Kind of a nice smattering of mines. So Do Life. I take it back. I missed it. Going ahead and grabbing the third upon seeing everything that was transpiring. So gonna instead sit back on three bases. Already got the two turrets. I misread it. Saw the, I saw this clump of units. I saw this clump of units. I'm like, ah, he's probably gonna push. Instead, plopping on an extra factory or three. Gonna move up to the three bases. The observer sees it. One advantage for him is White never contested this. However, White is economically ahead. Is gonna hit 200 well before Do Life does. So it just looks like it's just going to be a straight macro match. And look at the gateway count behind this. So we got 9 gateways, 10, 11 gateways. The Arbiter count, let's see if it fills in. Recall being upgraded. So White thinking about going ahead and dealing with this by doing recalls at various locations. I like the... It looks like there was a probe there potentially to grab a fourth at that bottom right-hand corner. The Vulture is going to stymie that. The Dragoon's making their way across to potentially clear that out. But right now, White happy to just go ahead and sit back He's got the economic lead. Looks like a shuttle might want to poke at the corner, but there's plenty of turrets blockading along the way. But as far as just the straight macro versus macro rush fight, do life significantly behind. Maybe because of all the turrets that have been dropped. Maybe because he built a lot of siege tanks in between here, but looked potentially to go ahead and go for a rush and then opted not to do it. Instead folding back. But... The thing is, is Terran, if you can grab those three bases and just sit back, it's kind of a you, you come to me sort of thing. It's like, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? I'm just going to hit 200 and then have a massively upgraded army that I can slam into you. Ooh, shield upgrade. I'm wondering if that was a... I, I feel like that was a misclick on White's part. The main looking thin. Still no fourth. Looks like I actually... I take it back. 
a fourth is not operational, but a fourth and a fifth being grabbed by white, potentially, as he's hitting that 200 supply, to eventually cycle into that gorilla Protoss style. He is moving that Arbiter forward. He does have the recall energy. There are several turrets in the way along this 9 o'clock base. I don't know that that Arbiter is going to be able to, to punch through there unless the shuttle does some damage or to absorb some damage along the way, but it looks like this is going to be an attempt at a recall over the 3 o'clock. Three turrets slamming it. The recall lands! Just shows you. Artosis would be proud. Over the turret line, Zealots and Dragoons able to get in here. It looks like they're going to be able to clear some turrets to open up potentially more recalls eventually. A fourth command center is being constructed, but not that much economic disruption. So a little bit of delay in mining, a, f a little bit being taken out. The Dragoons also using this opportunity while some units are out of position to go ahead and establish map control over what could be a fourth base. But do life still is not really being challenged. He's sitting back level three weapons, level two armor. The upgrade advantage is huge and the Arbiter count is not there for White to contest this. So momentarily, do life can start going out and getting aggressive, going ahead and dropping a commsat here and there. He can go ahead and start getting aggressive and start playing whack-a-mole with these expansions and basically being a big bully, which it looks like he's opting to do right this second. We even have some Goliaths in place, and without stasis, without a lot of shuttles, I don't see this going well for White. Although, if Dulife plays at a position like this, has that army overextended to the front, might be able to pick off some things here and there, but I don't know. The upgrade advantage just seems too large. Now the Zelt's starting to flood in. Arbiter is there. It doesn't have enough energy to do much aside from cloaking. The Comsat is there. The Science Vessel is somewhat out of position, though, to provide the support. And do life, yeah, just had that army, I think, a little bit stretched out. There are High Templar here to drop some Psy Storm as well. But that army's still melting, and there's nothing left on the ground for White. Yeah, the upgrade advantage is just too sizable. So do life. Clearing the Protoss army, now has that upgrade lead, but still needs to press it. Has plenty of factories to go ahead and fill in behind this. However, White's got a strong economy and a lot of gateways himself. But I think it's the High Templar that we're going to be needed to punch through this. Do Life pausing for a moment, and he really needs to press this advantage before additional units can get online. White, by the way, does have a little bit of saturation. That, that bottom right-hand base has some decent saturation here, so he's basically running off four base. The natural expansion is looking thin for Dulife. He's running on three. Another, looks like that Reaver and Shuttle suiciding in, able to clear out some SCVs at that nine o'clock. So gonna, do, and this is as SCVs are transferring to this location. With a smaller unit count, Dulife not transferring and actually moving more units in that are just getting obliterated. So all of a sudden that SCV count plummeting and do life's economy not looking that strong to go ahead and sustain this. So White able to take a chunk out of that economy and do life just not responding to this at all. Doesn't care. He's like, okay, let me just push through with what army I've got. Ignore the rest of this. He's also established what looks like the upper nine. However, completely, he's basically, he's mining at the natural expansion and nothing else at this stage of things. So needs to start taking out some bases to do some equalization. White is somewhat out of position to go ahead and engage this. The Vultures only pushing up to go ahead and clear this. The Siege Tanks cutting off reinforcements that might be able to push through. There's some mines along the way. However, White going for a counterattack. He's saying, okay, you want to engage there? I know I've stymied you at the 9 o'clock location. I know I have a mining base in the bottom right-hand corner as well as the 1 o'clock base. So let's go ahead and go for potentially a base race situation. I will cut off reinforcements, or actually, never mind, just engage com for the complete opposite angle. But he's losing that one o'clock base in the midst of this. Upper nine is now mining for due life. Natural expansion, yeah, the reinforcement point is getting cut off. The siege tanks look like they're backing up to go ahead and re engage this army. And again, level two weapons is online. No arbiter overhead, which means these dragoons will absolutely melt these siege tanks. The arbiter now regrouping and backing off. And due life. Yeah, regrouping with this army, coming back to the lower nine, finally clearing out this Reaver that has 16 kills. I don't know how many kills that Zealot had as well. Dulay still has the supply lead, however, and can go ahead and regroup and re-engage. Now SCV's retransferring to go ahead and saturate everything. So a bit of a reset, and I think on the reset, Dulay's still in a strong position. 
White has three bases. His natural expansion is still running. He's basically, it's three base versus two base, but the supply lead is still in Dulai's favor. He's still got a lot of siege tanks on the ground, a big vulture army, and is bullying his way around the map. And I still, looks like we might be able to get a good stasis out of this. Do life a little bit out of position to engage this. There's a great stasis, but it mostly is catching the vultures. That's going to be a protective cusp for the siege tanks to the south. The vultures getting wiped out here. The zealots able to get a little bit on this front siege tank line. The dragoons now making their way up. There's no science vessel, though, to provide detection. White might just have enough overwhelming forces and might have had a nice enough engage with those siege tanks spread out. Not able to hit the front line to clear everything out. And all of a sudden, that big swing with that engagement. White able to clear out, do a swing attack. The Vulture is kind of cleared out to the... I thought that was going to go much, much better for Dew Life. But it looked like that Siege Tank army was just staggered. And it just felt like that army wasn't firing for a lot of that engagement. White clearing out in a sudden swing in momentum. Marching out to go potentially retake that 11 o'clock base. And Dew Life no longer has that standing army. And is kind of licking his wounds to get back in this. Supply count is even. Which is usually still in Terran favor. A couple of vultures have snuck through. But that tank count is very, very low. Behind all of this. Dragoon's starting to filter. To trap those vultures in. Along that right hand side. White still mining off three bases. So looking strong. He hasn't. He's tacked on a second gateway. So that Arbiter count is now going to grow. He does have obviously stasis behind all this. Do life trying to sneak across nice little mine grab right there but white being very very patient I don't think do life can actually stop white from walking into either expansion across the left hand side of the map nor can he stop white from expanding a handful of times but it looks like he's going to gather up he's got looks like five siege tanks and a slew of vultures walking forward white with the supply lead but his army somewhat out of position natural expansion very very thin here's one thing for white is white has not rebuilt gateways at exterior locations so if he does get blocked in to his natural expansion that could be the match and he's gonna have to do that now if he's gonna have a chance in this because this upper nine o'clock base is getting completely wiped out as do life not able to intercept or engage that army pushing in with the siege tanks now at the natural expansion yeah looking to get a solid blockade there. Keep in mind, there's still going to be Arbiters that could potentially support this. And it could turn into a two-pronged attack against Do Life at the Natural Expansion as White is regrouping and re-engaging. Still, it's going to be two bases versus looks like no bases now for Do Life. Do Life is no longer mining. Lifted off that lower 9 o'clock location. SEVs have basically been grouped up to go ahead and work on that refinery. So White can patiently rebuild this army is losing that natural expansion but engaging from the left here and it can just march zealots down from the north potentially do mind drags and engage as well from this direction how there is an arbiter needs to get a really good stasis the upgrade advantage is starting to equalize level three weapons level two shield level one armor level two shield interesting i'm wondering if this is some new meta that i'm not familiar with the vulture is trying to re-engage the left to keep this cap here that's spreading some of the units thin. The stasis did land on the siege tank back line. And there's enough dragoons that they're going to be able to clean up everything else behind this. Most of the siege tank still to the right. But this is Dulife's last standing army. Rather than engaging wholesale without Arbiter support. Knowing that it would have to... That Dulife would have to walk up the high ground. White instead marching back to the 9 o'clock location to potentially take this command center out. There's a single siege tank. A handful of mines and some vultures. To defend and engage this attack force. White marching down as the SCVs are being transferred. And it looks like this 9 o'clock base is going to get wiped out. And I don't see a way back into this match for Dulife at this stage of things. Yes, he has troops here at the natural expansion, but his supply count is so low. He was not mining, and he's not going to be mining again. He'll be lucky if he escapes with this command center. Down to 27 SCVs on the field. The Dragoons, if they get a move on, still might be able to pick this command center off. Siege tanks and a DT on the front, but that science vessel not in position. Has already got a kill and is just going to be able to get additional kills on top of this. Yeah, Dulife trying to shove in, take out a base here. 
But this Dark Templar eventually is going to clean this army up. In the meantime, more Zealots and Dragoons are starting to match, march out of that natural expansion. A Stasis dropped. Where did that Arbiter even come from? The Goliath and Vulture still not able to get through. Trying to break this Pylon Wall, but the Dark Templar is easily cleaning all of that up. And now it is a cleanup operation for White. Do Life has 156 minerals to his name. He's going to have one last standing army to do something. He's got a couple siege tanks that looks like a handful of mines and literally nothing else. And I am shocked that Dulife has not called GG right here. Maybe a little bit salty or frustrated in this match. Thought he could have, he had opportunities to win it, but dropped it. And maybe just sitting, it's kind of one of those things where you sit and you think at the end of it, kind of reevaluate what could I have done differently so that you can walk into the, the next match. Some vultures going ahead and planting some mines across that 9 o'clock. Here's the thing, even as this command center floats out though, this observer is going to see it. White has complete map control at 200 supply, has a bank to work with, is still mining only on two bases, mind you. But he can go ahead and grab additional bases without too much trouble. Plus, these Arbiters have a ton of energy to go ahead and do for uh, go ahead and drop a recall. And the Observer knows that a recall is possible. I'm actually shocked that White hasn't grabbed uh, additional expansions. Starting to move a probe out to go ahead and do that. He can go ahead and double expand behind this. As Dew Life is not going to be a threat for a considerable amount of time. The Arbiter, yeah, just walking in. Just walking in. And this is probably going to be a recall from all of those units in the upper left-hand corner. There's a recall all over those siege tanks. There's DTs in the midst of this, keep in mind. And I don't see any commsat being dropped. In fact, I'm guessing that Dulife might be out of commsat. So that is the GG maneuver right there. Dulife being forced out of the match. Intense on top to bottom. But White is going to move on to the winner's bracket. To face Juicy, we're going to see Dulife versus Nooks, aka Sony, in the loser's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.